long time no see! So, how's Swordfish 2 treating you? Getting along okay with everyone? <laughs> well, you're in luck, because this seasoned veteran's got a few leadership tips for you. Raising their pay will boost morale, while giving them a few bounties will act as an incentive to go the extra mile. It's also important to maintain strict discipline at all times, and finally... Uh, wait. What was it? What was it? Wow. Where'd you learn all that, Tepe? I read it in a novel from the Yai Publishing House. It was a long time ago. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many doggo it took to convince my friend to let me borrow it. You're seriously gonna use a novel to tell people how to run an army? Pretty sure that's called being an armchair general. Ha <laughs> ha! That's where you underestimate me. That's right, I'm learning military management on the job now. Just like you. You'd better believe it. Thanks to my outstanding achievements in the recent naval battle, I have officially been made the captain of my very own special operations unit. It's a brand new unit, Herring One. What do you think? Pretty awesome, right? I spoke to Her Excellency and she says our uniforms are in production. Let's go collect them together once they're ready. Oh, I can't wait to put them on. We're really gonna look the part. Ah! <laughs> Everything's going great. Our mystery sponsor supplies have really helped turn things around. Will Paimon get a uniform, too? Of course. You're a recognized member of the Watatsumi Island Resistance. Yippee! Captain, a new assignment has come in. Thank you, soldier. I'll be there on the double. All right, I'd better go. <laughs> See you again soon. You'd better watch out, partner. At the rate I'm going, I'll overtake you if you're not careful. Ha! In your dreams, mister! <laughs> I wouldn't be so confident if I were you. I'm at the top of my game right now. This is my time to shine. I'm so surprised that Tepe's been made a platoon captain. He must have been working super hard. Let's take a break, then go check out these Archon War Ruins. Phew! Glad that's over. As monsters go, that one was pretty tough. Um, but what's such a huge Thunderhelm Lodge Earl doing here in the first place? It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. Also, the atmosphere here gives Pine on the creeps. Anyway, the good thing is that it's over now. We should probably get going. Uh huh? Tepe? What are you doing here? <coughs> wow, this is a surprise. I didn't know you were the ones investigating here. I just got back from delivering some supplies to the front line. I figured I'd stop by and clear any threats in this area on the way back. <coughs> are you all right there, buddy? You're looking slightly the worse for wear. I'm fine. It's nothing. I must have caught a cold a couple of days ago while I was out at sea. On my way past, I heard that someone had just arrived on the island to investigate, so I thought I'd come and take a look. If there'd been some real danger, I might have had the chance to be the hero. <laughs> Shame it was just you guys. I guess I came here for nothing. Pepe, don't you think there's something strange about this place? Hmm. Now that you mention it, <laughs> there is something a little off about it. It could be that the Tatarigami is more palpable here, I guess? We're not that far away from Orobashi's remains. Orobashi? Who's that? A god. Look, there's the corpse over there. Ah, it's a gigantic snake skeleton! Ooh, it looks terrifying! Orobashi was the one who brought our ancestors from Menkanomiya to the surface. That's the origin of the Watatsumi Island you know today. Our ancestors regarded it as a guardian deity. But during the Archon War, Orobashi invaded Yashiori Island. The Raiden Shogun came out in person and slew Orobashi with the Muso no Hitotachi. That same slash also formed what later became known as Musojin Gorge. The Raiden Shogun created Musojin Gorge in one slash? Wow, that's pretty incredible! Yes, but the Archon War was brutal. <laughs> and Yashiori Island was completely destroyed during that battle. They say the Shogun lost something very dear to her along the way, too. 
since Orobashi's death, there has always been <coughs> some animosity between Watatsumi Island and the Shogunate, but our different beliefs have nothing to do with why the Resistance was formed. We only rose up to fight against the Vision Hunt Decree. When Orobashi attacked civilization, the Shogun stood up and put a stop to it. But now that the Shogun is stripping people of their ambitions with the Vision Hunt Decree, it's time for someone to stand up and stop the Shogun. <coughs> All right, I'm heading back. I was just dealing with some of the Shogun's elite samurai, so I think I'm gonna take a quick breather and it's on to my next assignment. You should report back to Sangonomiya as soon as possible. Don't stay here longer than you need to. Being around the Tatarigami too long won't do your health any good. <coughs> hey, don't worry about me. Peak condition. Pepe's sure made some big progress if he's already dealing with Shogunate Samurai. Paimon can hardly believe it. Let's report back to Kokomi. Kokomi, we're back! Oh, look, Goro's here too! Uh, what happened? They look so serious. Approximately how many people are exhibiting these symptoms? I haven't had the chance to do a full count yet. Kokomi, Goro, uh, what's going on? Recently, some of our soldiers started showing symptoms of accelerated aging. I called them in for questioning and found out they'd privately acquired some secret weapons from our sponsor. Most of them are highly ambitious types, vehemently opposed to the Vision Hunt Decree. They've been using these new weapons secretly since getting a hold of them. So that's why the war has been going unusually well. But risky secret weapons are not the answer. We must put a stop to it immediately. Goro, have you managed to acquire one of these weapons? Well, most of the officers refused to hand them over. Still, I did manage to get one. Do you know something about this? So that means our secret sponsor is the Fatui? But why would the Fatui do this? Uh, forget that. There's no time. Right now, we need to inform the whole army to cease using their delusions immediately. All soldiers who have shown symptoms are to be taken for treatment. I just hope we'll be in time to save them. Wait a second. Speaking of soldiers with symptoms... No! Surely he can't have... Uh, let's go check on him! Pepe! Oh! <coughs> hey guys! What are you doing here? Just a moment, let me, let me get up. <sighs> it's weird. I don't know where all my strength's gone. Hmm? Oh, right, yeah. I haven't had time to give you the full details. Well, I made a lot of great contributions to the war effort lately. Fighting the <coughs> Shogun's army at sea, taking on Shogunate Samurai all by myself, rescuing my comrades from, from an ambush. Things I never would have dreamed I could do when you first met me. If only I were stronger still. The stronger I am, the more I can do for the resistance. Wait a sec. Where's my secret weapon gone? Um... <coughs> it wasn't long after you were made captain of Swordfish 2. I met these... mysterious people. Said they were with our supporters. They gave it to me and said that as long as I have the will to become stronger, this secret weapon will answer my call. <laughs> it's just like a vision, isn't it? Of course, I, I've never used a vision, so I wouldn't know the difference. Delusion. <coughs> oh, God. That doesn't sound very good. So... What's the difference between a, a delusion and a vision? Huh. Gosh. Well, I suppose it's not too surprising that a mysterious weapon of unknown origins would come with its risks. I've been getting more and more tired over the past few days, and I have this strange sense of dread. 
At first, I'd find I was a, a little more beat than usual after a battle. Didn't think anything of it. But today, I, I got back and suddenly my vision was going blurry. This is a real shame. There I was, thinking I was catching up with you. <laughs> Guess I didn't receive the favor of the gods after all. Hey, would, would you do something for me? Well, when our uniforms are ready, grab mine for me. Bring it back here and, <coughs> and we can change together. What's that look for? Don't worry, partner. As soon as I've rested up, I'll be right as rain. Right as rain, I tell you. As soon as I've... rested up. Pepe! Hey! Where are you going? Hey! How's Tepe's condition? I have put out the order to cease all delusions. The vast majority are showing some loss of vitality, but nothing serious. Sadly, a few have been less fortunate. Your Excellency, I'm planning to establish a dedicated field hospital to monitor their condition. The soldiers are up in arms about the band, though. They know full well what a delusion is, but they still intend to keep using them. Okay, I'll leave you to deal with the situation. I have to get to the front line. This whole fiasco is certain to be a blow to morale. If the Shogun's army attacks now while we're scrambling to recover, it could well undo everything we have achieved so far. What are your thoughts? No, it's too dangerous. The Sakoku Decree is still in force, so their delusions must be produced within Inazuma's borders. To organize an operation of this scale, they will have had to mobilize a huge amount of manpower and resources. They can't have done it without local support. If we want to stop them, we have to destroy the factory where the delusions are made. But it's sure to be heavily guarded. It's dangerous to go alone. At least take some troops with you. Your Excellency, given the urgency of the situation, we were hardly discreet when confiscating the delusions. The Fatui are sure to take notice. If we spend any longer amassing our forces, they will get wind of our plans and make their escape. Very true. Let me think. I gave this some thought while you were confiscating the delusions. The side of the factory must be big and secluded, but close enough to a transport route to ensure the supply of raw materials. Not many places meet these criteria. And if we take the locations where our soldiers receive their delusions into account as well, I suspect the site is likely to be the cliffs, near the ocean at the southwest of Yashiori Island. I'm not going to stop you, but please, be careful. We have lost too many courageous fighters already. I don't want to lose you too. Huh? You mean, to the Delusion back? 